Welcome to the first game on this channel that works completely without firing any guns whatsoever. But still, you can kill people theoretically. Welcome to Baldy Bridge. It was published by Drag Cactus last June and is now in the early access stage. It is available for Mac, Linux and of course the PC. Baldy Bridge is a physics-based puzzle game where the player must design and construct a bridge to safely transport various vehicles from one side of a river to another. But let's forget about the technical stuff for now and check why the game is so fun. So grab your construction plans and let's go build some flimsy structures. Here we have a nice example of a normal, not too challenging level. By pressing T you can see which resources you have at your disposal for this bridge. At first we want to put the road in place. Once that's done we are gonna engage in the most challenging thing this game has to offer. Creating the support for your road. Cause if you don't build enough support, well, this will happen. So you want to build a strong and solid support. This can be done using wood, metal and a combination of suspensions and cables. And please note that all road bridges just don't work. As you can see all structures are connected at these yellow and red points. The red ones are fixed connection joints and are the starting point for every construction. And when you think you mastered the bridge building, you will engage crossing traffic. To avoid these boats hitting your bridge, you need to build a drawbridge. Or just build around it, but that's not always possible because you have limited resources. For this one we're gonna use hydraulics. They can lift up whole segments of your bridge, but don't forget to use split joints, otherwise it will pull the whole bridge apart and the whole construction will collapse. You can create a split joint by just double clicking on a joint. And once we got that right, we truly mastered the realistic part of this game. So let's go to the fun area. Apart from these more or less realistic challenges, the game also challenges you into building double bridges, bridges that split into two different sections, or build ramps for monster trucks and school buses to jump over rivers and hot air balloons. This is the part of the game where you as an engineer become a mass murderer. Cause almost every time you hit that simulate button, you'll be sending a test pilot into unavoidable death. So what makes this game so fun? Killing the test pilots? Well, kind of. Levels get increasingly challenging from the engineering aspect. And restrictions are also imposed on the resources you can use to build your bridges. So it's getting harder and harder every time. And once you mastered every level of the single player campaign, you can use the level editor to create your own challenges and share them with the community. This should be pretty easy cause the game is integrated in the Steam Workshop. Currently there are still some bugs left in it, but it should just be a matter of time till that is fixed. Currently the game is available on Steam for 11.99, well I guess that depends where you live on, but here it is 11.99 euros. So is it worth buying? Well yeah, totally. If you want a game to chill and spend time thinking about a solution to build your bridge, then this is your game. And it's very well received by the community. So far I couldn't find a single negative review there. And cause of the low graphic requirements you can play this game even on a computer or laptop which has seen better days. So it's just perfect for a long and boring train ride. What do you think about it? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. So till then, guten tag and see you next time with a more violent game.